Stuffing kids in the back of a hatchback without any seats is not helping migrants. And if you don't believe me and you think I'm over the top, you should be pissed off too. Here's the video, I'll show you this for myself. So this guy's stuffing children in this car without any seat belts on. Very, very terrible situation. No. 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 Children in this car without any seat belts on. Oh my gosh. Now, is that really what's going on? I'm first of all, they should be wearing seat belts. But I mean, what before I overreact or anything, I go crazy. I want to know if this is some kind of fake video. I don't want to be fooled into something. I want to know what this is. A terrible situation. It's horrible. This is this is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is this is not how you deal with children. You don't stuff them in the back of a car. The hell's the matter with you? No car seats. What organization is this? I want to know who the hell this is. Stuffing baby. kids in the back of a car without any seat belts on. One hundred percent unacceptable on 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 many 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 levels. There's 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 no excuse for that. There's literally no excuse for that. I don't think anybody's gonna sit here and uh, think that that's okay because it is 100% not okay. It's not. It is absolutely not okay. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody has to say. Uh, it is not okay in any way, shape, uh, or form because what these people are doing is absolutely ridiculous. So this what guy's stuffing children in this ridiculous. car no, without no any one should have to live on. like this. No one should have to live like this. It's horrible. Unacceptable. This is this is this is and ridiculous. What anybody has this to is say. ridiculous. It is, it, it is not okay. So I wanted. This is this is not how you deal with children. Uh, again, so I'm gonna, you don't know, stuff them in the back of a car. The hell's the matter with you? No car seats. What organization is this? I want to know who the hell this is. Stuffing kids in the back of a car without any seat belts on. We've been here for maybe about 20, 30 minutes after this incident where this guy was literally stuffing children into the car without any seatbelts on. Uh, we've talked to some of the locals. One of them just came up to us and was like, hey, they're not gonna do this anymore until you guys leave. So we've actually kind of halted the operations here, which is literally aiding and abetting human smuggling because the COVID facility is right down the street. This is the Catholic charity that's stuffing kids without any seat belts or car seats into cars, taking them to some kind of unknown location. So it's interesting because of our presence, just standing here is putting a halt to this operation. This is what America needs to see. This is what America needs to know. How come you guys are stuffing kids in the back of hatchbacks without any car seats? Is that Christ-like? Honest question. Why, why are children being stuffed in cars like that? Is that what Jesus would do? I guess that's my answer. Why is she pregnant? This girl looked to be about, I would say at the max, 13, 14 years old. And I didn't know uh, that she was pregnant when we first showed up. When we first got there, I thought she was a little kid in the front seat. When she got out is when I noticed that she was full blown pregnant, maybe five, maybe six, maybe seven months. And see, this, these are the types of people that Joe Biden has literally incentivized, has literally encouraged, has literally dog whistled to come into the United States of America. These are the girls that get raped. These are the girls that get taken advantage of. 
These are the girls that get recruited by the cartels and put into rotation with sex trafficking. They get put into prostitution rings. These are the girls that get raped on the way they're on the way on their journey to the United States of America. These people are being human smuggled. These people are being taken advantage of, and we cannot sit here and allow this to take place no, any no, longer. No, we can't. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody has to say. This is unacceptable. We cannot sit here and tolerate this. We cannot allow this to take place because these are human beings. These are babies. These are people that are young, that are being incentivized, that are being encouraged, that are being dog whistled. These are the people that are being raped, that are being kidnapped, that are being murdered on their journey to the southern border. To the southern border. That is exactly how this takes place. That is exactly what is taking place. And what's happening right now is Nancy Pelosi. I don't know if you guys saw this the other day. Nancy Pelosi was asked, she was questioned about what's taking place with the southern border. And she has the nerve to stand there and say that we are under good leadership. We're on a good path under the leadership at the southern border with Joe Biden, President Joe Biden. That is a total lie. You have to be an absolute moron to believe that because this is not a good path. I don't care. I don't care. This is irresponsible, regardless of your religious identification. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care if you're a Catholic. I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're a Muslim. That could have been a damn Calvary Chapel I showed up to, and I would have said the same thing. I don't care what it was. I care about the actions. I have all these people on Twitter, on Instagram, you're smearing Catholics. You're No, son, they smeared themselves. Selves. That you guys are missing the point if that's all you care about. I'm a Catholic. I, I yeah. It, Catholics are not innocent at all. Believe me. I'm not defending any past or present actions of any Catholics that are doing wrong. At all. There is something wrong. There should be some type of investigation going on. Why is this happening? Why is there children being moved around in cars? Why is nobody talking to him or reaching out? Why is there no lawyer saying, excuse me, you need to take this down or you need to stop this live because this is a completely credible thing that we're doing. Yes, that was a mistake. We shouldn't have had children in car seats. Um being driven around that is a mistake on our part but you know to to bring the you know the hosp you know the the hospitableness of the the catholic church into this but no nobody's saying anything it could have been any church i don't it could have been any organization i don't care the bottom line is where are those children going why are where who is that pregnant girl what is going on their own behavior condemns themselves because when you're acting in darkness and the light shows up which is kind of what i do you get exposed so i don't care if you're a catholic i don't care if you're a christian i don't care if you're a muslim i don't care who you are if i show up and i roll up and you're stuffing children in the back of a hatchback without any seats Okay, I'm going to say something to you. Especially that man was, he was not identifying himself. He was lying. He said he didn't work for the organization. He also was lying to my face, telling me that they were being taken to the COVID-19 testing facility, which is not true because that is where they come from. This organization is fraudulent. This organization is a wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't believe they represent Catholics. I don't believe they represent Jesus Christ. People were saying, oh, Drew, you need to clarify that. Clarify this because you're smearing cat." No, I'm not. I literally posted on my Instagram the screenshot of this guy with these kids, and I put in the caption, these people do not represent Jesus Christ. Period. Period. I don't care. I don't care what anybody has to say. This organization is led by a woman who claims to be a Catholic who works hand in hand with the Democrat Party and she became known under the Barack Obama administration. This administration, yeah, this administration and this organization is literally a wolf in sheep's clothing. A wolf in sheep's clothing. And the reason why we don't get that many views 
is because the world doesn't want you to see this. This is why YouTube suppresses us. This is why big tech tries to shadow ban us because they want to hide this stuff. This ain't no QAnon conspiracy theory, okay? This ain't no Q conspiracy theory of kids being held hostage under the Capitol. I am showing you human smuggling taking place in the United States of America. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about this. I don't care if they're Catholic. It means nothing to me. This is illegal. This is wrong. This should not be taking place. They are a link in the chain. Like I said, cartels, border patrol, COVID-19 facility, and then the Catholic charity people are illegally smuggling little kids, stuffing them into the back of a damn hatchback. Oh, and people, if people are saying it was staged, it was, are you serious? Go down there yourself. You'll see it. It's happening in broad daylight every 30 minutes. I challenge anybody, anybody, go down there right now. Anyone that's a skeptic saying it was staged, it was, dude, go down there. This is happening literally every 30 minutes. Go down in broad daylight. All you got to do is show up. Literally, it's unacceptable. This does not represent Jesus Christ whatsoever. Is anybody else terrified? I am terrified. I'm terrified for those kids. I, I'm terrified for this guy. I'm so scared for those kids because freaked out right now i'm just shaking however or any faith this should not represent america it definitely represents joe biden proclaiming to be a catholic and a man of faith this is not actions of faith jesus would not accept this in any way shape or form this is not how these uh situations should be handled these kids could get crushed no seatbelts, no car seats, no seats, stuffed in the back of a hatchback. If they get rear-ended, these kids will be crushed. They'll die. It's not okay. And I know a lot of Hispanics, oh, Latinos are out here like, Drew, come on, man. You know, Latinos are used to stuff in a car. You know, you know it, it, it's, they think it's normal. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not normal. That's the problem. It's not normal. None of this is normal. This is happening in broad daylight. I said this on OAN. I said it with Jones. I said it with everyone I did media with today. I think Americans, they, 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 they picture human smuggling taking place in, in, in the late of night, pitch black, nobody can see. This is happening in broad daylight. I don't care where they're being taken. I don't care if they're being taken to the airport. I don't care if they're being taken to a hotel where they could probably get raped because they're not verifying who the hell's in this hotel. I don't care. You don't stuff kids into a damn hatchback without any seats. <sighs> so I'm just fed up, man. That's why I acted the way I did. This is never acceptable. It's never acceptable. I don't care what your religion is, bro. Save it. Save it. I don't care. You don't deal with kids like this. You don't deal with kids like this. I don't care if that was a Catholic organization, a Christian organization, a Muslim organization. I would have rebuked the hell out of it like I did that day. I, 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 I would have done the same thing. I don't care. I don't care. I literally do not care. This is unacceptable behavior. The federal government has incentivized this. They've encouraged this. Now they've poured, they've literally dragged the border patrol into this. Now these so-called Catholic charities are involved now. They're all smuggling. This is illegal. Because these people are not U.S. citizens. We can't even verify if they're actually, actually claiming asylum. The Biden administration is not verifying this. You can't sit here and say, no, these are just people that are seeking asylum. Yes, some of them may be, but some of them are not. They're taking advantage of the situation. They're lying. You guys want some nuance? For all, you, you guys want to hear some nuance? This, 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 what's taking place, the, the Border Patrol knows what's happening. 
they know that this is wrong. They know that this is taking place. I don't want you guys to think that I'm coming out and, and, and I'm, coming, I'm coming against the Border Patrol or anything. They're put in this position. This is my view on this. And I told Alex this too. I told all the guys. They're trying to demoralize the Border Patrol just like the radical left is trying to demoralize the police. They want them. They, want, they know that there, is, there are good men in the Border Patrol that hate this that are now put in a position to make a decision. Do I quit or do I stay? They want these men and women to quit, just like the police. They want to demoralize them so they can get rid of all the good guys so they can move in all the bad guys to do their evil, dirty work. That's how it works. That's what communist regimes do. They want to demoralize the police. They want to demoralize the military. They want to demoralize the border patrol so all the good guys quit so they can move in the evil guys to do their damn dirty work and continue to human smuggle children on a daily basis. This, this is irresponsible. By God's grace, I have the ability, to, I don't know, every time I go out, <laughs> I end up uncovering some crazy stuff, whether it's with Antifa or BLM or now the border. I don't know. God has just really put me in this crazy position. I don't know. I'm like a flashlight just walking around. That's why people hate me so much. But thank you guys for your contributions. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for your support because without you, I could not have done this. I am so frazzled. I can't even think. Go and subscribe to Drew. Um, obviously... He's doing something super dangerous, and he needs everybody t to support what he's doing. I need to find out more. I need to know, my God, this is so frightening. But this is obviously very important. So um, go. I have the link in the description. If you guys find out anything about this, like it, if this gets deeper, this is scarier. You guys have more web links and I need to show this, let me know. Okay? Thank you.